everyone and welcome to day three of the 25 boxes of Christmas. I have really enjoyed the first two boxes that we have unboxed, quite a different variety and I can't wait to see which one we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead and draw today's number. Okay, let's go with Ooh, open, open. Day 23. Quite a variety of boxes. I mean, we've been to box six, box 15, and now box 23. I don't know why I keep saying that. I keep getting the days and boxes mixed up. Let's go get box 23. What's number 23, Snow? Are you excited about number 23? <laughs> Let's go. Box 23 is a perfectly square, which means I have a pretty good idea of which box this is. And those who regularly watch my channel will know too. This is one of the subscriptions that I do on my channel every month. It's one of the two that have been in every single time. So it's nice to kind of get one of those out of the way so we can get to the other boxes that I don't usually do. And here we have the corresponding gift for day 23. If you haven't guessed already, today's box is Unplugged Book Box. Unplugged Book Box is actually one that I get twice every month because I get the young adult subscription and the adult subscription. And what do you know, I have both of them with me here today. I only decided to wrap one to save on paper and then also to save in space with the tree because I originally couldn't even fit all of the boxes down there. So I'm just gonna keep filling it up as I, you know, unbox, um, I'll put more down there. <laughs> But I will be unboxing both of these today as well as going over the giveaway goodies that are still a surprise in this box right here. And I think I'm gonna start with the one that I originally wrapped. I don't know if it's the young adult or adult, but we'll find out here in a minute. As I mentioned, I do this one every single month on my channel. It is about $39.99 a month. Plus you do have to pay shipping. It comes with a newly released book with some bookish self-care goodies. One of the things that I love about Unplugged Book Box is because it's a self-care box. So instead of just getting self-care items, you also get a book, which reading is a part of self-care. So it really all works nicely together. And they have recently started venturing out into self-care like creativity, like using art to help with self-care instead of just with skin self-care. So I like that they are adding that to the mix for this subscription. It's been a welcome addition. Which one do we have today? Okay, this is a classic and cozy adult fiction box. The adult fiction box for the month of November that's right, these are the November boxes, which I'm really glad I'm unboxing it so close to the beginning of the 25 boxes of Christmas, because by the time that the series is over, I will have received the December boxes, and those videos will go up on my channel like always. The theme for the adult box is classic and cozy, which sounds fantastic for the month of November. And here we have our spoiler card. And then we have a preview of what the book is gonna be. Oh, they did add journal prompts. Grab a journal and free write without overthinking. I like this part of the book box subscription because it is another way to give self care, to have self reflection. If given a time machine, what advice would you give your younger self with the knowledge you have now? What important decisions would you do something different? And that one is so hard. Like, I know as we get. Hey. <laughs> Apparently my husband would buy Bitcoin. That one is hard for me. I mean, as we get older, we do often think about what we would do differently. And it's hard to go back and say you would change something because then you may end up losing all the wonderful things about the life you have right now. So I don't know that I really would change anything because I wouldn't want anything about my life right now to change. I guess the only thing that I would do differently is maybe start my YouTube channel earlier. So that's not going that far back. That's that's the only thing that I would do differently is because it's such a long haul just to even get established 
and it's been such a climb just to even reach what I've reached now. I wish that I would have started like five years sooner. When was the last time you felt in awe of something? Describe in your journal entry how it transformed you. What's your top destination on your bucket list? <laughs> That's kind of something that I asked in yesterday's box. So if you have not seen that one, go click on day two and go see what that was all about. How do you express your creativity? Do you get your creative juices flowing? Wow, this is like so on point because I have just been coming up with new things for my other channel and it's all about creativity. Oh, and they have a recipe this month and it's for caramel apple pie martinis. Sounds delicious. The first item in here looks very interesting and it has writing on it that I do not know what it is. So let me see. Oh, maybe it's a matcha whisk. This stunning traditional matcha whisk will help froth your matcha beverages without scratching your bowl or cups. Please note, most matcha does not fully dissolve. This is part of your tea party collection series. This is something very new and I'm just assuming that it's a matcha whisk. I don't really know much about matcha. I have seen some other YouTubers I watch drink matcha on a regular basis. The next item is a little mini packet of matcha. What do you know? This is an organic Japanese matcha, ceremonial grade, farm direct first harvest matcha for traditional tea. I don't know if I'm gonna drink it. I've had matcha in a dessert before and wasn't a fan. I'm more of a sweet person and matcha is very not sweet. So I don't know how I would like it. I have heard that it's very good for you though. So I may try it. There's another packet over here of vampire blood. That sounds more my speed. Vampire face mask powder. Stay classy with this face mask. Scoop a tablespoon into a bowl. Mix equal parts water or other liquid of choice, milk, serum, etc., and apply evenly to your face for 20 minutes. Always patch test before use. Enjoy while you're reading this month's book. It's an unplugged exclusive by Bath Apothecary. And Bath Apothecary is a company that Unplugged Wick Boxes collaborates with quite a lot. That's why we get a lot of bath type products. So if you like bath and skincare type products, this is a good box for you. Especially if you like to combine it with reading. Next item is a little candle. These little candle holders are so adorable. I like that this one came in a box. Caulfield, I do not know. Essence of Pride, <laughs> okay. I don't know the inspiration here. Catcher in the Rye Candle. The classic tale is one we like to revisit now and again. It is inspired by Holden from J.D. Slinger's novel. This candle is an unplugged exclusive and it has a very mild, fresh scent. I am getting some freshness. Fresh scents aren't really necessarily my favorite, but still good. On the top of it, it just says, I'd just be the catcher in the rye. Okay, I should have read that part before trying to guess what the candle was from. I don't know what size these are. Does it say? I don't think it says. I wish that it would say. My guess would be a four ounce candle. All right, the next item in here is this little thing, the whisk holder utensil rest. I would rather have nothing but tea. This Jane Austen inspired whisk holder slash utensil rest has a lovely Jane Austen quote and you can make it beautiful shelf artwork when not in use. This is part of our collectible tea party series. I think these two may go together. Like maybe this is supposed to help hold the matcha spoon. Oh, I didn't even realize that the matcha spoon says, books whisk me away to magical places. <laughs> That's so cute and it's so true. The next thing in here is a bamboo matcha spoon. So we are having lots of matcha related things for this cozy box. It's a very strangely designed bamboo spoon. Maybe that's how matcha spoons are supposed to be designed. It almost looks like a little hockey stick to me. The traditional matcha spoon is inspired by Game of Thrones. It is used to portion out matcha. Okay, so it is maybe a traditional matcha spoon. The size and unique ski-like shape help to portion out matcha powder into equal scoops. So it's a Dracarius bamboo matcha spoon. Okay, the last thing in here before we get to the book is Nevermore. Amaretto maple and balsam hand cream. Ooh, I like the maple edition. This is nice hand cream. It went on nice and smooth. 
I like the scent that comes with it, so it's really good. And now we have to move on to the book, or I am never gonna get through this video. At the bottom, we do have, oh, a very beautiful Zen-like art print. I am seeing a very beautifully designed book. This is The Secret Garden of Yanagi Inn. This is by Amber A. Logan, a modern Gothic retelling of The Secret Garden. It's so funny because I just got a classic book, The Secret Garden, not too long ago in I think an owl crate box and there was a lot of people saying that it's one of their favorite books and they reread it all the time so I'm wondering how the retelling is going to go just look at how gorgeous this book is like they've done a very good job with painting the pages or stenciling the pages I really don't know what it's called when they do this just know that it's really nice. They do not have a separate design on the back of their book jacket. It just says, an adult retelling of the classic children's book, The Secret Garden, about an American woman who, while mourning the recent death of her mother, travels to Japan to photograph a dilapidated traditional inn, only to find herself mysteriously tied to the inn's haunted past. And on the back, it gives a little bit more detail. It says, still grieving her mother's death, American photographer Marie Lennox is sent to document Yanagi Inn, an old dilapidated Ryokin outside Kyoto, Japan. By day, Mari explores the inn and its grounds, taking striking photographs and uncovering layers of mystery shrouding the old resort including an overgrown secret garden on a forbidden island at night eerie weeping which no one else seems to hear keeps her awake despite the warnings of the staff mari searches for the source of the ghostly sound and discovers a devastating secret tying her family's history to the inn and its mysterious forlorn garden i could sense two diverging paths in front of me once again one in which I bled the inn and left all the mysteries behind, and one in which I stayed and saw things through to the very end, no matter how unsettling and painful. Which would you choose? Oh, there's also a bookmark in here which doubles as a ruler. Interesting take for a bookmark, I say. I think I'm gonna like this retelling of The Secret Garden. I might actually read The Secret Garden first and then do the retelling version of it. I did put The Secret Garden on my TBR list in the top five. I don't know when I'm gonna to get to it. Maybe over the holidays I'll have time to read. We'll see. For this month's book box, since it was more matcha themed and I'm not like the hugest fan of matcha, it's like an okay match for me. Anyone else out there who loves matcha, this would be a great fit for you. I do think that they did a good job of keeping with the theme with the book and the items. Like they paired that up very well. It isn't what I expected to come out of a classic and cozy box, however. I still think they did a good job with a selection of items. You can let me know your thoughts down below, and I am going to move on to the giveaway part before going to the young adult version of Unplugged Book Box. All right, so I'm gonna do the giveaway in the middle of these double unboxings to kind of break it up a little bit, and I know you guys are just probably dying with anticipation of knowing what's in here. As you can see, this is an Owl Crate book box, but it's not actually an Owl Crate book box. This is just the box I use to store the items I'm gonna be giving away. However, the items in here are, I would say more bookish related, have come from past book boxes. The first thing in here is this tote, which is definitely book box related. In fact, I think this one may have actually even come from an Owl Crate book box. I am not familiar with this fandom, so I wanted to pass it along. This is a candle, which did come from an unplugged book box. It has balsam fir trees, wood smoke, and ghost as the scent. Very appropriate for this time of year. It is a nice soy candle, pretty good size. The next thing in here is a natural pure honest room spray, and this is an elderberry. It's two ounces. And I believe it also came from Unplugged Book Box. It did. So that was another bookish item that's in there. It looks like they have a gem inside here too. I just now noticed that little red gem. The next item I'm giving away was this really cool little gadget that you put on a desk, something, and it's supposed to hang down and create a little hook. The next thing in here is the Craven Manor Mud Mask and Blackhead Remover. 
This is also from Unplugged, and I wanted to give you guys a skincare type product because that is something that we get in book boxes quite a bit. So you have skincare, room spray, candle, tote bag, nifty little gadget there. There's also bookends. These both say that love of maidens for monsters that does not fade with time. I really thought it was a beautiful set of bookends, the white and the snow, very perfect for this time of year and a wintry scene. I have a lot of bookends, so I don't need to keep all of them. And I wanted to part with the set for you guys. And the last thing in here is this reading planner. This reading planner is the one that came out of Alcrate, I think the year before, but the calendar is not marked. So it could be used for any point in time. And I never got around to using it, just got another one from this year. And I really like the outside design of the blue one as well. The back says a book is a dream that you hold in your hands, which is so true. And I wanted to share one of my reading planners because I obviously don't need two of them. I never even got around to using this one. Maybe it'll go to someone like one of my subscribers who loves to read and who's did not receive a reading planner and Alcrate book box. This will be a great addition for you. In order to enter into day three's giveaway, you need to be 18 years or older. You can live anywhere for this one. You need to be publicly subscribed to my channel. You need to use the code word favorite book down in the comments below because I would like to know what your favorite book is. As always, YouTube and Unplugged Book Box, they are not affiliated with this giveaway. All of the detailed information about the giveaway and about Unplugged Book Box will be in the description box below, so go check that out. The giveaway starts today and it ends January 5th and the winners will be announced January 8th. And if you Ah, the young adult version, you can tell, is shaped a little bit differently. And usually they only do this if there's a product in here that is bigger than their traditional square boxes. Because most of the time they always do just the square boxes. The young adult version of Unplugged Book Box costs the exact same as the adult fiction one. So if you missed that, you can check out the beginning of the video or the description box. But let's go ahead and see what is going to be in the young adult book box. It says the theme for the November box is found family, which will correspond with this month's book. I do see a little bit of a misprint on here. It says adult fiction box down here, which has me a little bit confused. But when I opened it up to check here, it does say young adult fiction at the top, which tells me they just did a little misprint at the front here. Ooh, this one also has journal prompts. Free write your thoughts to each of these prompts. This one has more, so I don't know that I'm gonna go over all of them. Here's just a couple of them. Write about a group of people that leave you feeling happy and at ease after you've spent time with them. If you're having a rotten day, who is the first person you would want to talk to and why? Describe some traditions you've had with your friends. Are you comfortable asking your friends to help when you need it? Would they ask you for help? Who has always been there for you no matter what through thick and thin? So this one is definitely gonna be geared more towards friendship, which makes sense with the theme of found family. Because a found family is not necessarily the one you were born into, it's the one that you find and create. And then this one also has a recipe. It is the Hobbit Honey Cakes recipe. I know I have several Lord of the Ring fans who watch my channels. So this may be one I have to do on a Sunday Funday video because I am very curious to see what a Hobbit honey cake tastes like. All right, I have to move on to the items because I feel like this box unboxing is gonna be like forever long. The first thing up here is, oh, a 24 karat gold face mask. Very similar to the adult fiction one, only this one is 24 karat gold, where the other one was vampire blood. <laughs> I wonder which one is better, vampire blood or the 24 karat gold? I might have to compare them in a video. I've never really done that, but sounds kind of interesting. I'm kind of hoping the vampire blood is better. Who knows? The Cruel Prince face mask. Jude from the Cruel Prince has a hard time living in 
fairy as a mortal. Eventually, she finds people who can trust and uses her skills in ways she never imagined possible. The Bath Apothecary face mask is an unplugged exclusive. Okay, there must be something in The Cruel Prince that explains the gold part and why they went with this for this face mask. Even if you don't know, because I don't know that book. I mean, the face mask still sounds cool. The next item is wrapped. Salt scrub. Caves water. The trees speak Latin. Forest rain and whispers. Salt scrub. And it has a seal on it. That's good because it may be something I end up gifting eventually. I get a lot of salt scrubs and there's just no way to use them all. Just, there's just no way. Use a small amount to scrub gently into hands, body, and feet. Rinse dry and use your favorite moisturizer. And the inspiration for the salt scrub is The Raven Cycle, which is another book that we see be referenced a lot between young adult book boxes. This exclusive salt scrub is inspired by The Raven Cycle. Blue and company form their own found family in the series. This scrub was made by Natural Pure Honest and is the first in the series in different types of scrubs that you can expect to see in some of your young adult boxes over the next year. Okay, so that's something to come. I was about to say, I don't know if I've seen a lot of salt scrubs. Maybe they'll do other types of scrubs. Maybe they won't all be salt scrubs because I mean, you can only use so much. We'll find out because I'll be getting this book box all throughout 2023 as well. Okay, the next item is probably the candle because it's in another little box like this. What do you know? It's the candle. Last month, I was accidentally sent the Macbeth candle twice. This time, it looks like I did get both versions. This one says, The Magic Hour, Rush, The Essence of Adventure, Rush Candle. This exclusive candle is inspired by Mackenzie's A Daughter of the Trolls, Rush, is described, oh, as smelling of cinnamon, and this candle would be perfect companion for a cozy autumn night of reading. See, I feel like a cinnamon candle would have been good for the adult box because it was supposed to be cozy. Like that's what I think of with cozy. That, they even wrote it right here. Companion to the cozy autumn. Like that's what I think of as cozy. It's like the scent of cinnamon, fall type things. The next item, we have a mouse. Okay. Oh, it's a light up computer mouse. Don't know if my husband or son need a light up computer mouse, but I guess it's always good to have one on hand. Oh, born for gaming? How big is it? Says an LED. I don't know, come look at it. My husband just inspected it. He said it's a pretty decent gaming mouse. With it being wireless, he doesn't consider it a true gaming mouse. I guess it makes a difference with wireless and wired. Maybe the connection. Yeah, Steve. Maybe the wired mouses are just slightly faster and gives you a little bit more of an edge, but he did say it was pretty decent. He said the holes up here is to help keep your hand from sweating, and he liked the different buttons that are on the top. So he did call it a pretty decent gaming mouse, and he would know because he games all the time, and so do my sons. I might actually be able to gift it to my son for Christmas. I have to move on in a speedy kind of way. It says we're all about unplugging, and that doesn't always come out in the obvious way. The mouse is perfect for those of us who love to unwind through gaming, writing, graphic design, or just watching cat videos. This exclusive mouse will help you connect with your friends and family around the world. So I mean, that's true. It is another way of self-care. I know that that's how my husband likes to unwind with his video games. So it's one that often people don't think about. Next item, I have a very colorful pair of socks. I'm not sure exactly what it's inspired by. It looks like they've got socks with mushrooms everywhere, houses, trees. Oh, I do see hearts on the building down there. It says it's supposed to be an Alice in Wonderland socks. They're supposed to be a collectible sock. This next map in, oh, it's the next map in our series of Wonderland. These exclusive socks were designed for this box. Alice heads to Wonderland in Lewis Carroll's classic tale and she makes a found family with all the whimsical characters she meets. That kind of explains why it just has different locations all over the socks. I was sitting here thinking, I can't even tell that this is Alice in Wonderland. I feel like they should have put Alice on the socks to make it scream Alice in Wonderland. I, you do see the caterpillar on top of the mushroom, but it doesn't even have the Cheshire cat. I'm, I feel like they had a missed opportunity for something that really screamed Alice in Wonderland, but now that I'm looking at it, I guess I can see the maze down here. Oh, it does actually say Wonderland at the top above the tower with the hearts. So okay, it does have some things on here that scream Wonderland. I'm just a little disappointed that they didn't put Alice. Like she could have been walking around in this 
map on the socks. And I don't know why they wouldn't include her in it. Unless copyright. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, next I have the art print, which says this book is We Could Be Villains. And that is what we're gonna have right here. This art print was more literal compared to just a picture of something. It's basically a picture of a cover of the book. We Could Be Villains by Megan McCullough. Top secret. It looks like it's gonna be more action-based. And again, they have a very, really cool design on the actual pages itself. The top and bottom is just one color, but this one definitely looks more like a sci-fi type book. We Could Be Villain stuns with its clever voice and original plot, a comic lover's dream come true. Pure fun from beginning to end. I think it does explain a little bit more why we got a gaming mouse in this book box. I think that was a good connection to this type of book. It says avoid spoilers, don't get fired, defeat a not so fictional supervillain. 17-year-old fangirl Rosemary Collins lives for Vigil and Ant Studios movies. From action-packed superhero fights to sweet character moments, she's here for it all. But in a real-life crossover no one saw coming, the fandom's heartthrob supervillain, Ironfall, isn't as fictional as the film studio wants her to believe. Beyond the glamorous red carpet lies the government's most guarded secret, the movies are real. Armed with a devilish grin and a wit as sharp as his knives, Ironfall needs her help and refusing means he'll kill her parents. Her only other option involves spying on him for the government's secret superhero division. Suspended between fact and what she thought was fiction, Rosemary must join her heroes and create an impenetrable web of lies or guarantee her parents' safety as she watches the world burn at its adored villain's hands. Perfect for fun of pop culture and comics, We Could Be Villains packs an entire cinematic universe into a book. Join Rosemary and a not-so-fictional heroes and villains of this Vigil and Ant films in her imaginative science fiction where superhero battles, hmm, equal publicity stunts, fictional characters become family, and the villain just might steal your heart. That does sound very interesting. I don't think I've seen a superhero type, comic type book in a young adult series in a while. I think we got one two Christmases ago. I remember getting one in my 12 book boxes of Christmas that was more game superhero themed. I think it was called Beta. It's refreshing to have something different because in these book boxes we've been having the similar type storylines. This book, I like it's out of the box kind of writing. It's different than the month to month books that we normally get in book boxes. It has a completely different type storyline and I like the science fiction nature of it compared to maybe the more magical fantasy type storylines that we often see in these book boxes. So I really like the differences. I don't know when I'll get a chance to read it, but I am happy to explore it. Let me know your thoughts of the adult and young adult fiction box items down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll be back tomorrow with day four of the 25 boxes of Christmas. Bye everyone.